Metro Police are investigating a deadly shooting on the near south side of Indianapolis. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Eric Graves. Bob is off. And I'm Chelsea Helms. That shooting happened overnight, leaving police with little to work with. CBS 4's Jesse Wells explains. Neighbors tell me they heard what sounded like at least two gunshots from inside this corner apartment, but they don't know exactly what led to the violence. For their part, police also had very few details about what happened here overnight. This front window is shattered after a bullet left a large hole in the glass here at the Garfield Parkside townhomes. That shooting ended with one man dead. IMPD says they were first called just after 11 o'clock Thursday night to Park Haven Way. That's just south of Garfield Park. When officers arrived, they found one man inside the home with a gunshot wound. That victim was rushed to the hospital, but died a short time later. Police admitted overnight they didn't have much information and couldn't say what motivated the shooting or who is responsible for the killing. Too early in the investigation to tell because we, we don't know what happened here yet. So uh, I can tell you there's no forced entry into uh, the residence, but that, that's all I've got right now. So not a lot to go on. Yeah. Police reports show a 61 year old man lived in the apartment where the shooting took place. That man wasn't hurt, but otherwise the report offered very little information. His family told me he was questioned by police and later released in the morning. They insist they're not sure who pulled the trigger. Police are still asking for the public's help to hold the shooter accountable and solve the case because the complex where the homicide took place is relatively new. There has not been a history of violence on the property. Again, no arrests have been made in this case and police did not have any detailed suspect information to release. But as always, anyone with any information about what happened can still contact either IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. A teenager